G'day and welcome to another episode. My name is Dave Stroh, the Aussie Geek, and today we are doing part 48 of the Hatchet Partworks Build the Tumbler. So this is the Jet Nozzle. Now, for those of you who watch these, are probably like, where's the box? Where's the book? The book is literally right next door to me. Why is things looking like this? So... One of the things that I have issues with is my identity becoming known. I know I'm a small YouTuber, but I just don't like the idea. I, I like to remain anonymous, uh, basically. And one of the parts in this um, set, this um, build piece, is very, very reflective. So I'm having to record, re record it again as well as put something on so that I'm hiding most of my identity um, in the event that it reflects, which it probably will. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um, oh yeah, I just do not feel comfortable with my identity becoming less anonymous, if that's the right word. And unfortunately, this piece here, you'll, you become very, very reflective. It's very, very reflective. So I just didn't feel comfortable with it. So I have literally put something on to cover my identity. Uh, not as much as what Bobby Skullface does, but I'm just definitely not on the same level as MGo and all that with having my identity out there at all. I like to be Dave Stro, the Aussie Geek. I don't need my real life persona or my real life uh, personality um, becoming something else. Not that it will, but I just don't feel comfortable with it. All right, so we did, I have already built this, um, but I will go through the steps still. So you have this piece here and this piece here. So you're going to want to feel like that this side goes down. It doesn't. There is, if I turn the light on and I focus, a slight rim here, along here. That's going to actually sit the back end on. So... That actually goes in first. It can be a little difficult if you put it upside down and use gravity and slide that up as far as it'll go and just press it in, it'll lock in. Um, so there we go. Yeah, that whole time recording that originally, I, yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable. Now, you're going to look at this and go, and honestly, my original opinion was this wasn't going to work. But basically, this is going to go into here. And it sits against the back. It doesn't lock in at really at all. I'm assuming eventually there is something that is going to press against this. But this goes on the back. And you have these four screws that I've already taken out and already screwed in. They were a little bit awkward. So I would suggest actually getting the screws a little bit in first. Before actually trying to get everything in. But you have these little sort of raised pieces here. You can just make out they're going to sit in those grooves there. These ones you're going to leave alone. They're not for this yet. So you're going to put those over and try to line them up best you can. Doesn't matter where exactly what goes where. Just try to make sure that the black piece stays in the black piece. And I'm looking at things wrong. I was like wondering why things wasn't lining up. And you just basically want to line them up the best you can. It did sit, here we go. It sort of sits in if you get it in the right spot. And then we're going to screw these in, like so, all the way in. I still haven't found a substitute to this screwdriver. I had a look at Bunnings and I couldn't find anything decent. Um, so I think I'll just fiddle with the screw heads and get that one on there and get it on sitting on properly so I don't strip it there was five screws as there usually is there's always that spare one you get that all the way in I'm actually doing a better job showing it this time than I was last time because last time I was like uh, kept positioning this in a way that I knew it wasn't going to reflect me until after the fact that I made the video and and went through all of it to see if I could find my reflection and I found it 
real easily. So that video will be deleted. I haven't posted it yet. And this one will obviously take its place. So let's get that all the way in there. I know, call me an idiot. Yeah, I just like my anonymity. So get it all that way in there. Make sure I do it nice and tight. Now, as I was saying, so you have this and it's loosey goosey. And you're thinking, well, that's just going to pop out. No, it won't. Because of the thickness of this piece here um, inside, so the black piece here, so this is the actual, this is here, this is here, right? Because of the thickness here, it is not as wide as the screw holes. So unless you force it, it's not coming out. It's going to stay there. Now, how this is going to work, I don't know. I don't know if it would be a good idea to glue it in place because I don't want to glue nothing or anything like that. Because even looking at the instructions, um, it doesn't necessarily say where these holes should be positioned. It sort of shows in one picture that it should be sort of like that. So this will line up but until we actually get the next part, which is the uh, the tail. And I'm actually having a look at the um, at the the book. I'm just taking that off and gonna show you. So this is our next part. Now I'm assuming this is where this is going to sit in. So all that's going to sit in there. Um, we do have four screws, but we have these. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. So even still, that's not going to situate that middle bit. So we're just going to have to wait and see how that goes. But that is that. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. I promise you it will not hurt my feelings. Subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. And apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.